venite armati o oh, forti miei soldati fa la 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 fa la 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 tutti venite armati o oh, forti miei soldati fa la 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 I'm going to take you on a tour of music from the end of the medieval period in the 1300s to the beginning of the Baroque period in the 1600s. So I'm going to play a plain chant first, uh, and it consists of just long notes, uh, no ornamentation, no, uh, no homophony. So here it goes. <laughs> One of the major innovations of the Renaissance was uh, homophonous notes, or notes that were consonant with each other. So now I'm going to play the exact same plain chant, just with homophonous notes added in. Another one of the major uh, developments that happened during the time of the Renaissance was music, the rhythm of music being shaped to fit around the words. So the three words that are being spoken in this, in this plain chant are merapium expectavit cornet. Uh, so I'm going, so using those syllables, I'm going to play again the exact same chant, just shaped around the syllables so that the music uh, bends, bends its will to the words instead of the other way around. So the development of the eight note scale and the emphasis on words rather than the tune and the rhythm uh, developed, eventually developed into the extravagant Baroque period. Uh, lots of ornamentation, lots of uh, polyphony. Uh, so now I'm going to play one of the Bach suites. Bach, of course, being the premier uh, Baroque composer. So I'm going to play his first suite. Thank you. 
So as you can see, the cultivation of all these different periods of music uh, flowed together into this Baroque period, uh, polyphony, uh, the words of the song, the emotion of the song, the very free-flowing spirit of the piece, uh, all cultivate I'll cultivate in this period. <laughs>